Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose and today I'm going to share with you what we're up to for the month of March. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a child care provider for up to five children and on my channel you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to child care, shopping hauls and the odd family vlog. This month we're going to be looking at our favorite authors as well as the process of making maple syrup. Since we have an early Easter, I did make an Easter sensory bin. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we're up to. This is our Easter sensory bin. So I just dyed some rice and then I got these little carrots from the Dollar Tree. These chocolate bunnies I got at the Dollarama years ago. I'm not sure if they still sell them or not. And then I did get one large one and a bunch of small ones. This is great for the children to practice opening and shutting and if they have a bunch of these open at the same time, they won't necessarily fit together. So they'll have to do some problem solving to figure out how they fit together. I also added some clear Easter eggs and I got these adorable little peeps from Sewing Seeds Play. I also added some little spoons and scoops to practice their pincer grasp. Our writing center is sugar bush themed. So I have some laminated letters here for the children to practice tracing their letters. I do have three children heading off to kindergarten, so we do wanna start working on their names. I also have a tracing sheet, and then I also have some word cards here, and the children can just flip this over and practice writing some of these words. And then I put some dry erase markers and some erasers here. I did find that the room was really full last month, so I did just opt to keep the pickler, but not the rock wall, to add some gross motor. And then over at our science center this month, I set up, up a pouring station. It's set up as a provocation so the children can practice pouring skills. So they'll have some water here, which we'll call sap. We tap our trees up here on our farm, and so the children get to see the whole process in action. So I just put a little tractor and a little Mr. Pete, and this is our wagon. And then I got these little buckets here at the Dollar Tree, and then I put some little logs with some little nails so that they can tap their trees. And for the boiling pan, I just put a little container out here and. I put some tin foil on it and then I just put some leaves underneath to resemble fire so the children can have fun pouring at the station. I did put this thick plastic, it's a shower curtain just to prevent too much water damage. And then underneath here I just put a basket with some towels for them to wipe up any spills. On our first toy shelf I put out little golden book puzzles so each one of these sections has one puzzle and these are very simple they just have four pieces and then i also put good night moon and chicka chicka boom boom to go along with our theme i i put out this basic skills board by melissa and doug i do have some kids heading off to school and so we want to make sure that they're prepared to do things independently so this is a great toy for that and then similarly i have these dressing boards there's a zipper one, a button one, and a Velcro. And then in this one, this is a patterning activity. They can sort these and just put all the ones that match together, or they can make their own patterns. Or there's also these pattern cards where they can try and follow the patterns on the cards. Over on our second toy shelf, I have the little blue truck. And then I have the little blue truck. I found this at Value Village for like $5.99 or something like that. And then I added the animals that are in the book to this basket. I have these snap and build robots. They can be really creative with these, but they're also practicing the skill of snapping buttons. I have a self-correcting alphabet to go along with Pete the cat and his four groovy buttons. I put out this little button activity so the children find the right shape buttons to add to their pictures. My boys are big into construction vehicles so I put out these Melissa and Doug building 
toys. So they come apart in pieces and you can put them together and then play with them. And I thought this was perfect to pair with Good Night, Good Night construction site. Changed up our bookshelf. And in this little basket here, I put out some maple syrup books. So we have things fairly simple over in our block center and so I put out some familiar characters we've got Paddington and Pete the Cat, the Pigeon, Scaredy Squirrel, Llama Llama, Pinkalicious so it'll be fun for them to play along with these characters. To inspire the children in the block center I put out Iggy Peck Architect and then we put out some woodworking tools along with our regular blocks and these window blocks. For some gross motor, I put out our mouse wheelie bug. I thought that went well with if you give a mouse a cookie. Our dramatic play area this month is a pancake house and a sugar bush. For the sugar bush, we have a horse with a wagon. This is just a piece of cardboard with some hay taped on. I put up the sequins of how maple syrup is made. And then I put a tree tapping station. So they have some tools to tap the trees. In the dress up, I added some lumberjack shirts, some hats, and some, and some rubber boots. And then we have our babies out. And I also put a pair of Pete the Cat shoes. Our little pancake house is all set up. If you're interested in these printouts, it comes with all the things you saw in my writing center, along with some more games and all the things you'll see here in my kitchen center. But you can find them over on TPT, Teachers Pay Teachers, at Playing With a Purpose. So I just put out some more books. Just to incorporate a little bit of math, I put out some different sized maple syrup containers. And then all my ingredients are labeled. These are all Melissa and Doug sets that I purchased, both the waffle set and the pancake. So we've got butter, maple syrup, chocolate, fruit, and then we have some waffles and pancakes. And then I have some waffle irons here. And then on the stove, I put some pancake griddles. And then I just got these paper plates at the dollar store. We've got some utensils and some taffy on the snow. And this is just a container from the dollar store with some snow. And these little printouts come in the maple syrup packet on Teachers Pay Teachers. I hope you enjoyed this month's tour. I'm Krista with Playing With a Purpose. I'll see you next time.